Now, art history is both my profession and my passion. So, uh, I'm, it's not surprising that I was a little disturbed when I saw a gallery beat. I have the feeling that what Walter and Paul have done is to reduce contemporary art to its lowest and basest denominator. Um, and it might also be its most accessible. I have a feeling this kind of crapola might get onto national television. And in fact, the thought of that disturbs me. Uh, makes me think I need to talk to some of my colleagues and I need to think about what is this that we're putting on television? What is it that's going on screens? Um, the thought is appalling. I gotta say, I think that we really, it's a shame that we can't stay uptown today because we're doing so good. We've gone to three galleries and nothing has even happened. Hi. 20 years of loneliness. Right. Or solitude. Or solitude. And don't handle the books. They're supposed to be covered with semen. Really? I don't want to handle the books then. Isn't that true? No problem. I don't need to touch them at all. Okay. How come no pictures? Artist request. That's all. Artist request. Uptown again. Uptown. What is uptown, Walter? Come, come in here. Uptown is uptight. Uptown Why do they always do that to us? You're blinking. I know, you know what? So come in, come in here. The battery's and, dying. Okay, now we're going to try to get this before they throw us out, all right? So you can see the pile. We're going to be really sly This is like this. when an artist is so great, he can throw it, he can clean out his studio before he moves, build a big pile of the cast-off shit. And there you go. And that's it? And that's it. For the... It's a whole new generation of artists. This is a good list, though. B-list. whole new generation of artists. Man, Park Avenue. You'd think that Park Avenue would be a nice, smooth street, you know, with such a swank kind of reputation and everything. And this is like be a careful. dirt road. Be careful. Okay. Chris Burden driving style over here. It's uh, uh, I don't even know how Chris Burden drives. Wayne and Garth at the Biennial. Yeah. Hey. Cowabunga. Okay. Zoom this now, okay? Okay, so here's Charlie Ray's piece. This is like, a, it's a, what this is, is a giant fake, it's a giant fake fire truck. Giant puddle of goo coming up. Look this. We deal in superlatives here at the Whitney Biennial. The this largest the, vomit puddle. This in the is world. the biggest barf in the known Western this world. Is it by it's so you're it's kinda like looking at the giant fungus. Look at this guy over here. Does he look like me or what? Wow, that's I think so. It's a spitting you? image. Shut up! Okay. Willem Dafoe. We were gonna. We think that the name of the Guggenheim Get Museum, those people. the Guggenheim Museum. Now we figured out a way for major contributors to the museum to to get their name into the uh, into the major section of the Guggenheim Museum, right? By yeah. by actually adding what are we doing? Part of their names onto the, the Guggenheim, Guggenheim, right? So we take the like Guggenheim, Samuel Lefrac, Guga. We name the Guggenheim and Lefrac, we combine it, we make it Gugafrac. The Gugafrac Museum, right? The Le Gugafrac. Yeah, Le, Le, Guga, Le, Guga, Le, Guga, Le Gugafrac Le Museum. Frack. But what about Ron Perelman, who's also... He gave 10 million. He gave 10 million dollars too. Now we got to... So is it Pearl Le Gugafrac? Or is it... Le Guga Pearl Guga? Frack. Pearl Guga. 
Pearl, Pearl Guggenheim. Guggenheim. Pearl Guggenheim. The Pearl Guggenheim Museum. Yeah. So, uh... And we had a nasty, room for a, more. a nasty run-in with, with a Guggenheim employee today, which... We are going to show you the most week. amazing obnoxiousness. They really outdo us in every way. This one guy, right? Yeah. This guy, we insist that he be fired, okay? Like He's got long hair, too. You know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, he's, he's from Dogpatch or something like that. He's one of those. You mean like... Bill and Hillary. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, this is, we're really running way over here. Way <laughs> well, over. you can cut it off any time. I have kids. The art kids are waiting for us. Wow, look at this. It's Pita it Coin. Like oh, yeah, Pita it's Coin. wax. Look. It's just like a winter wonderland in here. Look at these things. Wow, Aren't they winter great? winter wonderland and macrame. You remember her work before? It's not macrame. Isn't she the person who made these root things? She did. She had big dirt. There's her name up there. Sort of like real kind of, uh, they were like parts of trees, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see how white goes. Now these are wax chandeliers. You might have to put on white balance for this one here. Do you know that? There's Paul. Okay, there's Paul. Look, these rose shapes here. Aren't they nice? This is like walking through a, some kind of a cave or something. Look at this stuff, really. Look at that one. You know, that's what they all say. How did they do this? So I'm gonna throw the doves. I can't get focused here. away from his speech. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're here for none other finer pleasures than for oh RTD. Get it? Here yeah. we are, so, just with Walter like... and Kathy and Paul, Michael. Yeah, as I... usual. Michael's leaving. Mm. As Bye. usual. This week's show. Wait a minute, I want to see if my head's in here. Oh yeah. Is my head in here? It's all that's in there now. And on this week's show. Some people's show, heads are just so big. We're going to go <laughs> see this Gramercy Park International Art. Hey, this Arc. is Gallery Beat, okay? The Gramercy Park International Art for its second year it's happened. Our friend's second year it's happened. That's right. Year two. And there's yes. so much art in one hotel, you'd never believe it. Yeah, don't go there early in the know, morning Walter? on Saturday. Don't go there early in the morning line? on Saturday because, you know, are we shooting? Mm -hmm. It's on. Do you like my glasses? They're purple. Yeah, but They're you didn't bring the up. chair. Usually, I'm not, I don't chair. want the chair. He doesn't want to sit today. I just want a head. I'm just going to be a head. Stop channel surfing now. Stop right picture. here. You're going to be here for... I've got so much... This time I have so much battery power and I have, like, no tape. Okay. Paintings aren't right. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to paint now, folks. Get ready. And he's gonna, this particular stroke I'm not This is a really fast one, so keep your eyes open now. <laughs> Be ready to take notes. Uh, Voila. Uh, We're at James Nair's studio. What is this? Like an exhibit or something? These are just handmade brushes. Hey. Here we are. Hi. Kathy too. James Nairs, the painter. There's this fan in here though, it's really loud. Did you already look I'll at James's uh, okay. brushes the last yeah, time you were here? Trouble is, it's 
James made, makes these brushes. You made all these brushes. Look at this one. Here we have a discussion about painting and... That's what art's about, Paul. And, and, and then... Which one is made out of your lovely wife's hair? Well, thank you, <laughs> Kathy. I, I appreciate that. Okay. This is the uh, anarchist baseball bum brush. There you go. Do you actually use that brush? Look at that thing. Baseball bum. Look at these. Of course not. None of these brushes are used. He made all these brushes himself. This looks like mine. Listen, my this, was, yeah, this, this has definitely <laughs> been used because look, there's still, know, a, we could there's still <laughs> blood stains on this one here. I'm kind of leching off the uh, hair piece, I see. It's not just the hair, man. It's the, it's the whole thing. <laughs> She's, this is uh, the brush brush. I see one tool. <laughs> the branch brush. Oh, natural. Oh, yeah. That's so you can get the sense of nature. And you can do like three things all at the same time, right? That's Just kind of. The Gemini brush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James, then, is, uh, uh, you're the Gemini. Oh, okay. So you have the nearest one. Oh, there, too. Look at that. Oh, man. Can I touch this? Yeah. Ooh. And you cut and carve these? Yeah. I mean, how do you shave your brushes like this? I mean, you. What do you use, a razor? Uh, this one was a razor. This, this one, you know, there's so many different um, Look at these. things going on here. This is the wheat field brush. This is, this is real pain, folks. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is like get down and, and paint with your fingers and your hands and... No, hopefully not. We're trying to get him to do it live, man. Live painting. James Nears paints a painting. This is real. This is a first. Big first for us. Moose. Is that Shaker. moose hair? That's moose hair. Moose. Well, where'd you get the moose? Did you get fishing rod requisitioned, especially? The moose. I had a friend up in Canada visit the local abattoir and shave all those moose, moose beards. It sounds like dangerous work, doesn't it? Go ahead, don't let me get in your way. No, I was just thinking about it. He's already got some pretty cool giants, pretty cool giant squiggles going right here. Look at this. That's what it's like, so, so elegant. And it has this lusciousness to it. Yeah, it's just like, you know, there's only one thing. Right, and it has to be done. And then there was um, the contortions. First gig at Max's playing. Yeah. <laughs> so we How about that, huh? You were, you were on the contortions? I, I was the guitar player for the season. Really? You were the guitar player for the contortions? I was oh. The original guitar player. Oh, my God. Before Jody Harris. Before Jody Harris. Is that when you were running around with Deborah Winger? No, that was later. That was? <laughs> So who fell for who? I told you about that. Who fell for who? Was it was she, was she in love with you or what? Oh, we were in love with each other. He's a married man. Well, that was a long time ago, though, yeah. right? That was a while ago. See? Well, you can see why movie stars would fall in love with this guy. I'm in love with this guy. And I'm not even gay, so, you know. Here we go, folks. Get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> We made him. The artist is about to place the brush on the canvas. Okay, folks, here it comes. Shh. Yes! What do we have here? What do we have here? Do we have a winner? Let's see. No? No? He says no. Not a keeper. Not a keeper. Nope. He's going to throw this one back. Oh. This is to grease my white. Grease the white. So what do you think, Kathy? Should he have kept this one or not? Do you think well, he should, think should he have kept this one right I, here? I can see why he isn't. I, I think I understand that. I think he can do better. <laughs> I think you seen, made him nervous. We've seen better from him. Like, James, what is <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> he gets another uh, strike. Uh, <laughs> the process of production. It's a very intuitive process, isn't it? 
It's so like. Do you like judge the stroke after? I know it almost immediately if it's not the right one. You just know when it's the right one. You see it, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah. here we are. I recognize you now, yeah. right? It is. It's like a recognition. It's like, oh, and it's like it was there all along. Right. So you've, you, right when you, you work on this, you set up this format for this moment to take place, and then you know when the moment is. So it's, it's really like a magic thing, right? I mean, personally, kind of. like you see, it's, it's yeah, it's like, well, I feel like it's magic because, you know, you throw out the sticks or whatever, and then, and then this the one same, moment. It has the same magic as hitting a home run with your eyes closed. This is Reno. This is Lucy. That's Paul. Walter's behind the camera, so you can't see him. And uh, I said I'm Reno, and this is Art Beat. No, gallery. It's gallery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. We'll take that again. This is Paul, this is an umbrella. This is the kind of umbrella that only okay. men carry because big, they want to have a lot of space. It's a golfing umbrella. It's a golfing, well, umbrella. It's a golfing umbrella. Well, how many women golf? Of course, you're lesbian types. <laughs> and it's a certain golf. Nancy entity. Lopez. He is Walter. Uh, Walter, rather. A lot of golfers. Lucy like, uh, is the female uh, equivalent of my dog. Reno, and welcome to Gallery Beat. We right. beat the galleries, we beat them around the clock. Because you know why? We're like the wrecking and crew. That's correct. Yeah. No, we're not. Thanks for holding the door open for me. Christ. I have to do everything myself. Okay, here we are, Sheila and Walter. This is great. This is what it is. This is the same one that was at the Brooklyn Museum, right? This has got stuff in it up the kazoo. So Walter, what do you got to say about this thing? This is fun. This is Come get the shot. We're typically awestruck viewers here, aren't we? I, I don't suppose anyone has any insights about this piece. Is that what you're trying to tell me that? It's called Medusa's... It's like the IRT, isn't it? Yeah. He may have won, won it's, his back in the lottery. Oh, he may have. Actually, he may have done... He may have had little jobs well, after school, piece, you know, yeah. since he was 13 years old. And, oh, and there's a Richard Serra piece. That's Richard there in the green overalls. And that's Richard. Richard Serra, right there in the green overalls with his piece. He's a diminutive person. <laughs> The Richard Prince joke delivery section, right here. Uh, two cannibals were eating a clown, and one said to the other, Hey, uh, does he taste funny to you? That's all. This guy knows everybody. Okay. Thanks, Dennis. He's got a great opening. Thank you. By the way. We're, yeah, we're going to his opening oh, right now. Yeah, of course, he's not going to be there, so uh, he's at your opening. Right? <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah, where's my hair? Make my hair good, okay? Oh, my God, I know. See, that's, that's the way to have a tiny little set, see? Welcome to Paul H.O.'s Art, Art Machine. Machine. <laughs> Art Machine in the culture of waste. Here we are. Walter Robinson and Kathy Lebowitz are our correspondents, and they are going to be bringing you the most fantastic array of art that we can possibly show you this week on Gallery B. This is where Michael Milligan was actually... Uh, It's sort of like a proto Cindy Sherman there. Hmm. Uh -oh. Sculpture oh, video. A yes, these are photo. By Philip Park. Gilbert and George. How much is it? Sixty dollars. $60. But I bet it's beautifully bargain. done. Did you find out, Paul? Yeah, Let's there go. they are. Oops. 
the wax museum. Let's go. Here's the stairs section of our show. Whoa. Here's Kathy rolling down the staircase section. There. Lawrence Wiener at Leo Castelli Gallery. Stones and and once Stones again, Lawrence, and Lawrence slaps us with... This is the fancy ampersand section of our show. <laughs> ampersand. Wait a minute. Ampersand. The enigmatic Lawrence Wiener. Who has, is showing at Dia right now, too, right? If you say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't much to look at. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. Hey, can you read that? Stones and stones and stones and stones. Let's go on the map. This would all make sense if he had, like, Mick Jagger standing in here. <laughs> this is a public service announcement. If you want to call the pay phone in the lobby of the 420 building, the number is 226 Reverence. Okay, we are in one of New York's finest galleries, the Mary Boone Gallery. Does he know how to open the door or this what? Is, hey, he knows how to open this door. This is one of the hardest There's doors. There's a trick open. to it. Tim Rollins and KOS. Remember what I said, kids of stuff, right? Kids of survival. Oh, okay. Now, Doodles on top this? of Socratic dialogues. Ooh, it's oh, wow. I've been here. So it's These are really pretty. Shall we read some? No, this isn't Socratic dialogues. Oh, you're right, it is. Come to this meadow of delight. Come dancing with Laurel. The bright flowers circling the holy hair that streams gold in the golden air. Which are choirs in the maze of graces as the quick feet go. Oh, Persophonophia. Why does he keep doing the same thing over and over? This isn't the same. Well, there's always some kind of drawings on top of, of writing. These are very lyrical. Before they were poetic. Now he's getting becoming classicist. He's seeking for an ideal. Huh. You know, it's very 90s because political solutions, the political solutions are bankrupt and they're looking for something deeper mm. in the classical past. What about those eyeballs in the logs last year? Hey, Look what they're finding. Clouds, butterflies. Is that a Greek? I think they're Socratic. Oh, God, this is after, after Aristophanes. Aristophanes. Ah, Aristophanes. Yes, yes. Well, he thinks that it's on. Hey, Kathy. Yeah? Let's go to Lawrence Miller. There might be photographs of naked women. Oh, Walter, that's sexist. Well, we're going to put it, this is like, it is, does happen to have nudity in it. It's just going to be in. You mean what? Well, you're not going to drool? Classical studies. It looks like it's the Ber it's Berlin. We still want to go up. <laughs> yeah, we should go to Feldman. We haven't Let's been go to, to Feldman, Feldman forever. Going Let's to Feldman. go to Feldman. 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 I think you think they have avant-garde cachet because you That's saw the them in a gallery. I just caught up with them and they're arguing about something right now. Not that right I know now. you are an important... Up. Everybody stop. Go down an octave. Yeah, drop an octave. What do you mean by that? We're on our way to Ronald. Feldman. I mean, uh, if you want to have a really <laughs> professional show, you have to talk more professionally, okay? Well, Paul, I think you're right. I think you <laughs> <laughs> So that means you've got to modulate your voice a little bit more and well, no. get into a most appealing and seductive kind of tone. You gotta can you to do that? Speak from the diaphragm, I suppose. Right. Here Kathy, can you speak from your diaphragm? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Come on, Paul, get in here. Here okay, we are. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> 
Hi, Kathy is our show's Jerry Lewis. All right, I'm sorry. I am really... Kathy is the Jerry Lewis of our show. I'm sorry. Well, thank you. I am Jerry You're a little cranky, aren't I'm you? I'm joking. Here, go in here. Oh, wow, look at this. Watch your step. Ronald oh, Feldman. Can here. you see any of this stuff? Well, it's too dark. How about the naked guy drinking in the bathtub? Can you see that? Careful. Yeah. Here comes a naked girl. This is kind of cool. This is kind of like... Um, Voyeurism or something, right? Yeah. Did she actually take pictures, I mean, like this movie, of, of balls of destruction, right? This is nothing. This is regular TV or something. It's a wrecking ball. Yes, and it's a building it's being wrecked. That's right. It's cool. I think it's the kind of thing you should have on during your party myself, but... Well, you're not alone. Future of performance art is Disneyland. That's my prediction. I think the future of everything is Disneyland. Well, we'll if you're wondering about this, this is Skip Arnold, and he is going to be part of the uh, big, big uh, body art show that's going to take place at Exit Art. Uh, what is that? Is that this month? Next month. month. Next so month? What's it called? What month is What's this? the show called? This is February. The show's, show's called Endurance. And, uh, you know, he's not saying anything. Usually he says a lot to say. Usually he, he would have a phone in here or something like this, but he really is. I think he's rehearsing or he's like practicing and getting in shape for the Endurance show. So if you don't think being an artist is a tough, tough thing, okay, and not a very athletic kind of uh, occupation, then you just take a look at this guy and realize that he sits in here every day, all day long, doesn't go to the bathroom, nothing. He's very, very tough, and he, he's a great salesman. What is the meaning of it? It's yeah. the reverential show. Why are we being reverential? Next week we're doing the fawning show. <clears throat> Where we'll fawn ceaselessly without... Let's Let's go. go. We're going to go. Okay. This is our way of saying we don't really want to go outside anymore because it's getting cold. Yeah. This is like four times we've been to the Roger Marion's Gallery, and this is like their first show. And, uh, and here we go. And there's Skip Arnold. If this isn't living sculpture, I don't know what is. Well, anyway. There you go. Hi, this is Skip Arnold for RTV Gallery Beat, Manhattan's alternative TV station. All right. How's that? Well, that was all right? very professional. Thank very you. professional. American Renaissance. The American Renaissance, it's right now, isn't it? 1876. We had a Renaissance? So subtle.